NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg says Sweden's bid to join the military alliance is being hampered by demonstrations involving supporters of the PKK terror group. The comments were made after a meeting of leaders from Turkey, Sweden, as well as the military alliance at the headquarters in Brussels. Stoltenberg also insisted that approving Sweden's membership is in the security interests of all the allies, but Turkey's Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan said that Sweden will only join the bloc if it upholds its promises. We have seen demonstrations against Turkey and against NATO in Sweden. They want to stop Sweden from joining NATO to disrupt counterterrorism cooperation and weaken our alliance. So we must be clear-eyed. The only people who benefit from these provocations are those who want to divide NATO. Any further delay in Sweden's membership would be welcomed by the PKK and President Putin. Our diplomatic correspondent Andrew Hopkins has been following the developments for us from Brussels. It doesn't seem clear at the moment as to whether Sweden will get membership of NATO in time for the NATO Leaders Summit next week. However, it does seem clear that a last major diplomatic push is being made to try to make that happen. If you listen to Jens Stoltenberg following the meeting in Brussels, he said that Sweden's membership is very close. It's time for it to join. And he is going to convene a meeting of the Turkish president and the Swedish prime minister early next week on the eve of that summit. And what, see, what seems to be his objective is to try to get a commitment from Turkey that it is in a position to ratify Sweden's membership. Turkey and also Hungary are the last two countries to give their uh, ratification, their confirmation of Sweden's membership before it can fully join. Now, if you listen to Hakan Fidan, though, he says that Sweden has made some significant steps. It has lifted an arms embargo on Turkey. It has also changed some of its anti-terrorism legislation. However, he says there is still some distance to go for officials in Stockholm. He said that when a new country joins NATO, then other members have to weigh up whether that new country will pose a significant risk to existing members. And he's referring again to the PKK terrorist organization, again talking about these protests which have happened on a regular basis over recent months, people holding PKK flags, logos, emblems in Stockholm and elsewhere, which Turkey says should be brought to a halt.